What is up, beautiful people? Oh, almost got hit by a man. I am under one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven. Yeah. I am under a giant mango trees and they've just started to go full fruit and uh, fantastic. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is uh, constructive action versus action that has no constructive basis at all. Right? There are things in our lives that we do that don't help us in any way and things that are in our lives that we do that do help us. So what's the message of today is let us see and disintegrate all those things that are a complete waste of time. One of which is getting in the way of others, right? Is uh, stopping others from doing what is needed in their time because time is the most valuable thing. So actually, if you take someone's time, you are raping their time, right? Unless they give you that time consensually. So most people think that time is infinite. This is not the case. Time is, time is the only thing that is finite. So if you come to me and try to monopolize my time, then immediately the, you are someone that I cannot give any time to. So this is more the same thing when it comes to women. This is the same thing when it comes to a mission. This is the same thing when it comes to purpose, everything. You know, your life, because you are bound by time, because you have entered time, now you must play time to the best of your ability. And for those who uh, know how to hack time, they will know that any time given, any time that I've uh, uh, started rotating in a fashion, any time that I give to uh, things that I don't like, those things will grow like a cancer, right? Anytime I, I give attention to the habits of either the people or, or uh, uh, how do you say, the, the, the trends that are degenerative, I will become more and more degenerate. So it's very important to keep your time to yourself. Solitude is so important because it allows you to be honest with who you are and not constantly uh, referring to what society says you should be, right? So there's that aspect to it too, that time is often more valuable than money because most people are exchanging their money for time or are exchanging their time for money, one or the other. So, uh, yeah, time, wow. And nature, you know, it almost uh, defies time. The way it grows, the way it uh, moves, it's almost timeless. That's why we get a sense of the stopping of time when we enter nature, because everything is just so, like, you can't believe all these things came in time, like it's so infinite in its majesty, yeah, time. Anyhow, so there's time, there's a time wasting element. Then I also wanted to talk about a hating element, right? When someone hates another, what is running through one's psychology? One psychology is saying that other is the, ba is the reason for all my problem. When really, when other becomes a problem, or when I register other as a problem, something is wrong with me. Unless someone is physically harming me. I'm talking about in a psychological case. When other, right? When I hate another, really it derives from a hate for oneself. So you cannot have a problem with another if you have a problem with yourself. Because if someone is trying to give you a problem and you have no problem with yourself, you won't enter into any problems. You see what I'm saying? You will immediately end the problem. Right? In a physical confrontation, you will have to end the physical confrontation. In a psychological confrontation, you won't give attention to any uh, psychological attack. Right? Any 1984 propaganda attempt to hijack your mind. So don't let anyone, not your parents, not your children, not society, hijack the originality of your mind. Because once the originality of your mind is gone, man, it's like an infested computer. It won't work. So stay true to yourself. And what does staying true to yourself mean? Is know your worth and at the same time know that in knowing your worth, you're actually being kind to other people. And uh, rejecting and walking away from situations that are not worth your time, you're helping their time as well. So you're actually helping haters by not giving them any attention and not giving them any power. In the opposite sense, you're not helping haters when you 
give them too much attention. Not that you can't give you know haters attention at all, because you know sometimes you want to play a mirror game and just show them you know what the mirror is. So again, if time is the most valuable thing, and uh, our actions uh, sow th sow seeds in time, good or bad, then we can clearly communicate and clearly come to the idea that time is not something you should give to anyone else. And in, a, in the world that we've created today in the matrix, every single second is a waste of your time. So most people's problems, most people's conflicts, most people's lifestyle, most people's style of eating, most people's style of communicating, most people's style of dealing with others is unoriginal and a, and a waste of time. So for someone whose time is very valuable, right? For someone who has realized that wasting time is useless, what would the action be? That should be your question. If there was no concept of time, how would you act differently? Right? Because of the concept of time, we have clocks. Because of the tons of the time, we have schedules. Because of the concept of time, we have images that we've created ourselves by our, uh, of ourselves and others. Right? To the point where we hallucinate and create illusory images that do not even exist. So, if we cannot even fully comprehend and deal with the time that is now, we're going to live insane lives. So, let me do now what is worth my time, and you can do now what is worth your time. That is the conclusion. Time is the most valuable thing, folks. Don't let anyone take it from you.